All right, hey guys. So today we're going to talk about tarps. Um, you may have seen in the background there, I've got a couple of tarps set up. Uh, I've got my Eno set up with the tarp over it, the, the Eno ProFly. It's a hex tarp. Uh, right behind me here, I've got my Noah uh, Noah's tarp. It's a Kelty Noah's tarp, 12 foot tarp. Got it set up. Uh, Going to make some adjustments on it. And also, in the background, you probably can't see, but I have my uh, Yukon walkabout set up, the diamond tarp. So the three types I've talked about in the articles, I have them set up, and we're going to go around and, um, and talk about them. So stay tuned. Okay, first up, we have our diamond-shaped tarp. And this is a Yukon walkabout. And um, just know that this is a diamond-shaped tarp. I don't recommend the Yukon walkabout. Uh, it served me well for what I've used it for. Uh, I think it's a decent tarp, but uh, what I recommend is doing some research and shopping around and getting what's right for you, for your uh, needs and price range. So this this may or may not be the best brand for you. Uh, like I said, it works for me, and, and I did get it very inexpensively on a sale on Woot.com if you're interested. But it's the Yukon Walkabout. It's a diamond tarp. There are more, you know, different people make them, but this one is a, it's the one I have. So it's the one I'm showing you. Now you can see I have it uh, pitched in here between two trees. The the peak there, that's the ridge line. Uh, and here we have the guy out points. There's one on each side. And I have that staked into the ground right here. We'll talk a little bit more about that shortly. Um, first, let me go to the ridge line. So I set it up with a continuous ridge line. You can see here the ridge line passes through the guy out point here around the tree in a V formation uh, I pitched it with the ridge line above the tarp so here we have the ridge line above the tarp to the other end and uh, because I didn't have any hardware on this tarp at all um, all I did was simply wrap it around the tree and and just tie it off with a, a simple slip knot uh, you can there are different ways to do that I'm not going to go through that right now if you uh, check out Shug's videos, he shows you several different ways to tie it off. But that's the way, that's the way I did it, and it's worked. And uh, and I'd be confident to camp with this as well. See, I have the hammock set up, and you'll notice that hammock is is really low. Um, it, I have whoopee slings, but these trees are not very far apart, so they're they're at the minimum distance I could probably hang with the whoopee slings. Uh, there's a different option for that too, and I'll talk about that in a subsequent video. Uh, what do you do when, you're, when your hang's a little bit too short? Uh, there's ways around that. So, at any rate, you can see why we would call it a diamond-shaped tarp, because it basically is just diamond-shaped. Um, it's very simple, and uh, you see it's uh, staked out there. There's, that's basically all there is to it. Um, if a storm were to come, you would want to lower your tarp you would want to take it and loosen it up a little bit and lower it maybe even below your hammock suspension so that it fits tighter around the hammock uh, and and would shed more rain and wind that way so usually i hang them up high when i when i initially hang them unless i am expecting bad weather i'll hang them high and then move them as needed so uh, that's it that's the diamond tarp and we'll move on to the hex next all right guys this is my hino eno uh, Pro Fly. It's a hexagonal tarp and basically the reason it's called a hex tarp is you have three sides. You have one, two, three sides here and of course you're seeing half of it so the other three sides. Six sides hexagonal and uh, you see here they these sides come cut with a pretty deep uh, it's called a cat cut or catenary cut and what that does is allow you to get a a fairly tight pitch on the tarp. This is nylon, and nylon will stretch, so you can uh, pull it tight, pull it out tight with these cat cuts on it, and get a nice tight pitch on it. Uh, and that's the purpose of those cat cuts. Um, there are other different materials too. You know, that's a, that's a whole different story. So I'm not going to go into all that. But at any rate, you see here, you see here the curves as it follows along. Those are catenary cuts. Um, this 
tarp is pitched with a guy line on each end. It doesn't have the continuous ridge line that uh, that I had the diamond tarp pitched with. This this is the stock assembly that comes with the you know. There's a line lock here, which is very convenient. Uh, you just you basically just lift that up and adjust it. You can loosen it, tighten it, uh, move it back and forth, center it over your hammock. You always want your tarp centered over your hammock for the most part. So um, that's what the the line lock is for. And there's also line locks on your stakes. So if it does you know stretch a little bit or whatever, you can always tighten it up a little bit with the line lock. And um, and pull it out tight again uh, and you're familiar with the atlas straps and the Eno hammock already but I just wanted to show you that's a hex tarp uh, you can see you know what kind of coverage you could give the same uh, the same methods apply if you were to um, if you thought you were going to experience some rain you'd want to lower that down get it nice and you know not real tight over your hammock you want enough room to get in and out of your hammock without hitting the tarp but you do want it lower and that would lower the sides as well over here and over here and and just provide you more protection underneath as well from blowing rain so that's the hex tarp and uh that's pretty much all there is to it